right, but I need to be no so far, my man. فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وإذ نجيناكم من آل فرعون يسومونكم سوء العذاب يذبحون أبناءكم يذبحون أبناءكم ويستحيون نساءكم وفي ذلك بلاء من ربكم عظيم وإذ فرقنا بكم البحر فأنجيناكم وأغرقنا آل فرعون وأنتم تنظرون وإذ واعدنا موسى أربعين ليلة ثم اتخذتم العجل من بعده وأنتم ظالمون ثم عفونا عنكم من بعد ذلك لعلكم تشكرون صدق الله العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين The blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on Bani Israel and their continuous transgression Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us about it Today we'll start from Ayah 49 وَإِذْ نَجَّيْنَاكُمْ مِنْ آلِ فِرْعَوْنَ يَسُومُونَكُمْ سُوءَ الْعَذَابِ Remember when we delivered you from the people of Fir'aun or Pharaoh. يَسُومُونَكُمْ سُوءَ الْعَذَابِ They had been inflicting on you a grievous torment. يُذَبِّحُونَ أَبْنَاءَكُمْ Slaughtering your sons. أَبْنَاءَكُمْ is sons, your sons, وَيَسْتَحْيُونَ نِسَاءَكُمْ leaving your women alive وَفِي ذَلِكُمْ بَلَاءٌ مِّنْ رَبِّكُمْ عَظِيمٌ in all that there was a great trial from your Lord so most of us must have heard of this that Fir'aun had learned someone had foretold him that there will be a child born male child born in Bani Israel and he will be a a reason to finish off Firaun. So he had started killing every male child and leaving all the women alive. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that this was a great trial for, for you from your Rabb. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then freed them from Firaun. And how did that happen? وَإِذْ فَرَقْنَا بِكُمُ الْبَحْرَ فَأَنْجَيْنَاكُمْ And recall when we parted the sea for you. Then we saved you. وَأَغْرَقْنَا آلَ فِرْعَوْنَ وَأَنْتُمْ تَنْظُرُونَ And drowned the people of Pharaoh while you were looking on. So they were, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam took Bani Israel and moved away from the lands of Fir'aun. And when the sea came, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked Musa alayhi salam to put his stick into water and that made 12 ways for all the tribes of Bani Israel to pass through each, uh, you know, each of them could pass through their own way. And then when they had passed, they had cleared the water. As soon as Firaun started following them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused the water to drown him and all his armies. وَإِذْ وَاعَدْنَا مُوسَىٰ أَرْبَعِينَ لَيْلَةً ثُمَّ اتَّخَذْتُمُ الْعِجْلَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ وَأَنْتُمْ ظَالِمُونَ And when we appointed 40 nights for Musa, then you took the calf as guard. Thereafter, as uh, then you took the calf calf as guard thereafter, and you were unjust. Antum walimun, you were unjust. So this is referring to after they had settled, after they had found peace, they had settled, and uh, and this was away from Syria, the original land where Bani Israel were supposed to be. This was away from there. So they had settled at, at, at some place near Egypt or Egypt itself and they had found peace and then they said that oh finally we have peace now so they asked Musa alayhi salam that you should ask your Allah, your Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for some sort of code of conduct for us, so some sort of sharia. Ah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know responded to the prayer of Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam and asked him to leave them and go to a mountain and pray Musa, uh, you know uh, pray there for 40 nights so the detail is that he, he, he was there for one month 30 nights but he broke his fast at, at, at the end of 30 nights so the special 
uh, scent that his mouth had developed because of fasting, that went away. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had him stay for 10 more nights to develop that scent again because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the scent of uh, somebody, the mouth, the, 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 the smell of the mouth of someone who is fasting. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves that. So he was asked to complete 10 more days. But behind behind him, when he was away, there was another person um, who was called Samri. And that Samri guy, uh, he... Uh, Hazrat Mufassin have written that when Hazrat Jibreel had come to drown the people of Musa from under the feet of his horse, he had hidden some, some you know, a... a, a wrist full or a, you know a handful of sand and he was he knew he he used the property of that sand uh, for that you know a, he made a golden or a silver calf and put that sand in it so uh, that calf came alive and people were so impressed with it that they started worshipping that and he he called people to worship that calf so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling this act as zulm antum walimun that this is zulm. So zulm is, as I have written, zulm is pla placing something where it does not bl belong. And to worship someone who does not, who is not worthy of worshipping is the extreme form of zulm. Because you are putting your worship where it does not belong. ثُمَّ عَفَوْنَا عَنْكُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ ذَلِكَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ But Allah SWT is saying that yet we pardoned you again. Even after that. So that you may show, show gratitude. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ Again, لَعَلَّ is something that we've, we've went over this, that wherever the word لَعَلَّ comes, it is expected, you know, if, if somebody was looking at them, it, they would expect that now they would become people who show gratitude. وَإِذْ آتَيْنَا مُوسَى الْكِتَابَ وَالْفُرْقَانَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَهْتَدُونَ Then we gave Musa the book and the criterion of right and wrong. So that you may find the right path. So this is talking about Zabur. After those 40 days, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives Musa alayhi salam Zabur, which contained their Sharia. Eh? Sorry, Torah. Torah. وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ يَا قَوْمِ إِنَّكُمْ ظَلَمْتُمْ أَنفُسَكُمْ بِاتِّخَاذِكُمُ الْعِجْلَ فَتُوبُوا إِلَى بَارِيكُمْ فَاقْتُلُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ When Musa said to his people, My people, you have wronged yourselves by taking the calf as your God, so turn in repentance to your Creator. فَتُوبُوا إِلَى بَارِيكُمْ Turn in repentance to your Creator. فَاقْتُلُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ And slay yourselves. ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرُ لَكُمْ عِنْدَ بَارِئِكُمْ فَتَابَ عَلَيْكُمْ That will be better for you in the sight of your Creator. فَتَابَ عَلَيْكُمْ Then He or Allah accepted your repentance. إِنَّهُ هُوَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ Indeed, He is the most relenting, the very merciful. So from this we learned, the Hadith Musa alayhi salam in the, in the Sharia, the punishment that was set for the people who had worshipped that calf, was that the people among the among Bani Israel, the people who did not worship that calf, would kill the people who had worshipped the calf. So this was the form of their tawbah. From this we learned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has in certain conditions put certain conditions for tawbah to be fulfilled. It, we, we just cannot say that for every sin that we do, if we just say make tawbah or repent with our tongues or with our hearts, that should be enough? No. From this we learned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the past Sharia and the Sharia of the Prophet sallallahu as well. For certain sins, tawbah, tawbah only in words or tawbah only with heart is not enough. But there are certain conditions to be fulfilled. One very, very, very common, easily understandable example is that if you hurt someone, then you have to repay them. You know, if you, if you, if you cause financial loss, you have to repay them. If you hurt them, you have to compensate for it. Only your tawbah with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not be accepted unless you fulfill that condition. Similarly, for if, you, if you've uh, you know, missed some saum, siyam, you have to keep you know, fasting if you are capable or if you've missed salah, you have to cover those and then your tawbah will be accepted. وَإِذْ قُلْتُمْ يَا مُوسَىٰ لَنْ نُؤْمِنَ لَكَ حَتَّىٰ نَرَ اللَّهُ جَهْرَةً 
فَأَخَذَتْكُمُ الصَّاعِقَةِ وَأَنْتُمْ تَنْظُرُونَ And when you said, <coughs> Musa, we will never believe you till we see Allah openly. حَتَّى نَرَى اللَّهَ جَهْرَةِ That we see Allah openly. فَأَخَذَتْكُمُ الصَّاعِقَةِ So the thunderbolt took you. وَأَنْتُمْ تَنْظُرُونَ And you were looking on. So when the Sharia came and they, they, they didn't want to fulfill this condition of Tawbah. So they said that we want to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they first said that we want this commandment, the detail here is that they said that we want to listen to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly. And then they said that even then they did not believe uh, and, and said that we want to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying it directly. So Had Musa alayhi salam took 70 people among from them to uh, to the mountain and but they were sinful people and be because their this demand was sinful because they were not capable of seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a thir thunderbolt that killed them but Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam was so knew Bani Israel so well that he requested Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make these people come alive again otherwise he thought that when he'd go back to the people they would say that you were not you were not truthful you were not able to uh, these, these were indeed not the commandments from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you took those 70 people and killed them yourself and they will start blaming Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam so he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make them to come to life again ayah number 56 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying thumma ba'athnakum min ba'di mawtikum la'allakum tashkurun then we raised you up after your death so those 70 people that were killed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even made them rise up again la'allakum tashkurun so that you might show gratitude so again لَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ That if anybody had looked at this, they would have thought, they would have expected that these people will become grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This story about Sayyidina, you know, uh, Musa alayhi salam, Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, and, and their dealings with Bani Israel, the dealing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with Bani Israel, it continues in Surah Al-Baqarah for one full hundred ayat until the end of uh, Alif Lam Mim, the whole para. And the reason is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us all those stories because we don't do those kind of things. When clear signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come to us, the clear commands from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa in our case come to us, we do, not, we do not become among sly and, you know, evil, clever people, clever in an evil way, that we want to challenge our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and ridicule our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and, you know, in an effort to run away from the sharia of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah really dislikes it this is what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is trying to tell by by narrating all those stories Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyid al-Mursaleen Rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam tawfil lana wa tarhamna ala nakuna anna minal khasirin Allahumma inna nasaluka al-afwa wa al-afiyah wa al-mu'afat al-daimati fi al-dini wa al-dunya wa al-akhirah Allahumma jalna min ahli al-Quran al-ladhi ahluka wa khasatuk صلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه المعين آمين برحمتك يا رحمة الرحيم